Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. Let's open our example part, which is a really simple, primitive shape, as you can see on the screen. And I'll just go quickly and create a cross section. This has been properly aligned, so I can just click on the top plane and you can see a context icon here, which you can start the sectioning. I'll just move this down to get all the shapes and press OK. So now I would like to go and do my sketch and enter my sketch mode and we'll hide all the meshes that I don't need it. The reason I'm putting this file is because it contains rectangles here and also a couple of slots. We'll go now and go to the fit sketch entities mode. What we introduced in our recent version is uh, three more tools that you can use easily. The first one is the fitting a rectangle, which means that you can just brush over the four sides of the rectangle or everything. Let's try to do this. And it automatically will define the rectangle for you. The same thing you can apply on the other, like this one. Also, we introduce something which is the fit slot command. You just brush over the slot and it automatically will determine the slot. In some cases, when you have a rectangle, it's hard for you to paint everything. So you can temporarily press the shift key enable the brush mode and this will not apply this uh, uh, extraction so you can just paint on the sides and so on when you extract rectangle it's always good to have the four sides and when you lift your shift button it will detect your rectangle and to demonstrate this I just cancel then we'll delete everything actually I need to exit the sketch mode and I will just temporarily We'll delete this cross section. I will go in something what is called um, interactive alignment and we'll just take this and rotate a little bit in space arbitrarily around the y axis. Press OK. So I'll just do the same thing. We'll just go and cut and slice and create my sketch here. And we'll start doing this. I will do the same thing, but the reason I'm showing you this is that I want to say that we are not limited always to be aligned in the coordinate system. The algorithm automatically detects in the best possible way all the sides of the rectangles are parallel. The same thing applies for the slots too. As you can see, you get the same result. So this is quite useful and time saving. I want also to show you another feature I will create our new empty part and will bring in my example part which has a hexagon. I need to map C to Y axis now to get a better alignment. So this is my hexagon. You always good to press the plain white to get the lighting properly. In this example I need to get the top plane and we'll just slide up to get the cross sections of my hexagon. I probably need to create my sketch on the slicing plane and I press OK. Now I have my plane as a reference here and we'll start doing my sketch. We'll hide the mesh because I don't need it. So normally if you have a shape like this one, you'll take a lot of time to extract the lines, intersect them to reconstruct this hexagon. Luckily we have another feature here which is dedicated for a hexagon extraction. And what I'll do, I'll just paint this over my shape like this one and as you can see it's automatically created a hexagon in the best possible way. Furthermore, holding the control key will allow me to enter this uh, out of corner mode. I just paint here and as you can see it rounds the, the corners. So when I'm happy I can just press OK. This will create um, our standard SOLIDWORKS sketch. We can actually extrude can see I will show the meshes so you can get an idea. I just slide to get um, information here and to finish my demonstration I will just press the compare button so you can see the quality of the extracted primitive. So this is quite the time saving features. I hope you like it and it will help you to streamline your process with doing reverse engineering in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching.